Hey, what's up? This is Silver from myhexcel.com. Today we got a little Android Studio tweak with the generated code. How often do you have a like play, play and all Java object, with the, let's say user with those fields, right? You you follow the Android conventions. You add this uh, member prefix for fields because it's private and uh, you want to follow the conventions, right? Then you go and generate getter setters, select all, look what you got, you get getters with the, this m prefix, which you don't need, you got setters with the same prefix, the argument has this prefix, then you got this keyword, and the whole thing is a mess. Now we need to go ahead and uh, change all this stuff manually. Like this. Right, for every setter. And uh, what if you got like 10 fields? This is gonna be not just time consuming, but annoying. Luckily, there is an easy customization of those uh, templates I created mine call them ignore M you can call whatever you want ignore prefix boom and you've got exactly what you would expect for there's no M prefix there is no this keyword All right let's see how we do that Yeah, it's a, it seems like a free marker language with the just uh, no angular brackets and stuff. It seems uh, not uh, to support functions. The computation isn't that great, so you just need to try everything yourself. Let's see, uh, looks, let's look at the default one. That's the getter template. What starts with the hashtag is uh, is an expression. What ends uh, with the double hashtags is goes into the template, the output itself, the expression. You need to start everything with the dollar sign, all the methods. Yeah, I just added those three lines in here, changing the name variable. Check if it starts with M. You just uh, remove the first letter <coughs> and uh, you might think uh, what if uh, what if you're you have a public variable starting with m right with that it, and it's not a prefix like something like menu then you probably should check if uh, m is a prefix right but unfortunately there is no such methods like is uh, uppercase and uh, and after all, it doesn't matter because you wouldn't create a getter setters for public variables since they are already public. So we have no problem with that. Just remove the first letter. That's it for getters. See, so we got for setter default template. Ignore M. Same, I remove the prefix from method name, from uh, argument, and here. So four and nine eleven. Those lines. You can seem to find the constructor template. It should be somewhere in the ID. It's not here, but uh, yeah, it, it's. Maybe I'll find it later. But, uh, for now, getter setters is fine. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.